But, uh, you know, one thing about this, it didn't feel like we was in a routine. And sometimes when we get in a routine, we don't want to get like that. So let's come around, let's pray. And uh, I, I, if you got requests, just make it known as you come around. And I do pray for Danny. Pray that God would just touch him. I know he's able. Looking for, looking for God to do that. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Remember John and Sandra. Yeah, Amen. John and Sandra. Remember Terry and your prayers. Amen. Remember my children and grandchildren. They come and get saved before it's too late. Amen. Remember my mom and dad and my sister. They get back in church regularly. Yeah. Brother Danny. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? And pray for the people down there that believes in abortion. Sure, yeah. Amen. And also pray for the poor babies and young kids. Amen. That's right. I remember Boyne's man at the table tonight, too. Yeah. Boyne's. Uh, James Boyne's. Remember them and their family. Let's, let's remember the one that's not here tonight. Yeah. Uh, whatever reason it might be. Lord, bring them back. Amen. Amen. We let, we'll let the devil steal a lot from us. We ain't careful. Yeah. Exactly. And I've got something else. I can't remember. I know I've got something else I need to mention, but God knows it. God knows the need. So anybody else have anything? I have an FOB request. Amen. God knows that. Okay. Anybody else? I have a co-worker. She just had a baby about three weeks ago, and uh, they found a large mass on her lung. She bought to today, so that's pending. So pray for her. She's very young. She's just mm -hmm. in her late twenties. Amen. Remember that. So we remember Mark too. Amen. Amen. We remember Mark that the Lord keep dealing with him and don't bring him in and get turn his heart and soul over to the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm looking for that just any day. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? About Robert and Lisa. Yeah, yeah. Lisa's quarantined. Let's remember them. Mm -hmm. Or she's got it, but she's on about over it. Remember them. Amen. There's uh, so, so many things to pray about. If we could be here all night and, uh, and, and still, probably never even scratch the surface. And I'm glad God knows her heart, though. We forget things, but uh, God knows. And uh, y'all have heard me tell it before, but. Uh, uh, I, I, it didn't take me long as a Christian to just realize when somebody asked me to pray, the best thing for me to do is pray right then. Yes. Because if I didn't, then uh, uh, then I'd forget about it, and go home, and just uh, it slipped my mind. Anybody else tonight got anything? I went to the doctor today, and uh, I've got a what's called a cyst on uh, one of my kidneys, and uh, the doctor said he's going to send me to a specialist, and I got to go in and see a specialist about this thing. Uh, a spot uh, cyst it's on my kidney I got to go uh, December the 3rd but uh, <laughs> I tell you what I, I just uh, I, I got too much of God <laughs> in me and uh, I know God will take care of that hey, man. I, I go to the doctors but I do what the doctor says but but Robbie, I got too much of God in me <laughs> to let let the devil fight and hey, me and I and I, I can't get rid of it. And God can get rid of it because I've been serving Him too long for Him to let me down. Now, if God can save a person like He did, yeah. and if God can uh, make a world like He has here, and if God can do anything that we ask Him in the name of Jesus, He can He can cure that kidney up. Yeah. And I know Amen. God can take it off. Amen. I believe that. I've been praying there too about it when they told me that I had a cyst on it. And the doctor today, he explained what a cyst is. He said it's just like a water, just a little uh, uh, small uh, place on my kidney. And uh, I think God can take it off. Well, I sure can. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Is that anybody else? Well, Eugene, you lead us. Most gracious, kind, heavenly Lord, Lord, Father. Dear heavenly Father, Lord, Lord this, uh, Lord, once Lord, again, Lord, we come Lord, before Lord, you. Lord, 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 Lord thankful Lord, for uh, Lord, uh, Lord, uh, just uh, another Lord, opportunity, Lord, God, to be back in your house. Lord, 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 so thankful, God, to see you. Uh, Lord, 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 Lord,
Pray, that, Lord, for every single one, God, that you touch their bodies, and Lord, that uh, you heal them, God. We pray for Danny, God. I, I pray, Lord, that you just uh, touch him, God. I know you're able to do that. And, uh, God, I just uh, pray that you just move. And, uh, Lord, lead and guide the doctors, God, that every, everything that's done down there in that hospital, Lord, would uh, be just according to thy will. But God, most of all, we uh, pray for them that's lost, God, that's on their way. I God do the devil's hell. I pray God that you deal with their heart. And I dear Lord, you save their soul. And I Lord, that for those God that's not here tonight, God, for sickness, Lord, or and whatever the reason might be, Lord, we pray that how you just uh, move in their life, God, supply me. And God, Lord, I pray for hope, Lord. She's and God go to the dentist, Lord. We pray that you touch her. And Lord, I just uh, know God that you're able to do all things. And, and Lord, for Brother Earl's request, and God, for every other need, God, that Maybe we're slipping slip in our mind. We, I know that you know it, God. And I pray that you just move for the one. And the young lady, God, that should got the mass. I pray that you touch her. Lord, them that they, I got the abortion clinic, God. I pray that you deal with their heart. And I thought that you'd show them the other ways. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Or for John saying, we pray that you touch him. Thank you, Lord, through this day. Lord, save the lost up and down this road. It's my request, Lord, tonight. Save them, Lord, before it's never too late. And I give you the praises for it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody got a song? Almost. The rich man lived in luxury, surrounded by his door. He always had the very best that money could afford. He left this world not caring about his resting place. He laid his eyes toward heaven, but it was too late. Give me one drop of water, the rich man cried from hell. One drop of water, but still no water fell. He always was a selfish man, his heart was filled with grief. Now a little drop of water is all he'll ever need. You can't love gold and silver, and love the Savior too. Like the eye of a needle, your chance of getting through. So make your reservation before another day. For all your gold and silver will surely pass away. Give me one drop of water, the rich may cry from hell. One drop of water, but still no water fell. He always was a selfish man, his heart was filled with grief. Now a little drop of water is all he'll ever need. There's one way to heaven, it's by amazing grace, where everyone is equal, no matter creed or race. So have no other Bible, and always put God first. We'll live on milk and honey, and we'll never thirst. Give me one drop of water, the rich man cried from hell. One drop of water, but still no water fell. He always was a selfish man, his heart was filled with grief. Now a little drop of water is all he'll ever need. Amen. 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 I got anything? Or won't you sing this one? Okay. <clears throat> set down the rain, Lord. Set down the rain. Set down the light of rain. I say, set down the rain, Lord. Set down the rain. Set down the light of rain. 
Lord, parade the rain, Lord, parade the rain, parade the light of rain. Oh, send out the rain, Lord, send out the rain, send out the light of rain. There's healing in the rain, Lord, healing in the rain, healing in the light of rain. There's healing in the rain, Lord, healing in the rain, healing in the light of rain. Amen. Oh, send down the rain, Lord, send down the rain, send down the light of rain. There's joy in the rain, Lord, joy in the rain, joy in the light of rain. Oh, set down the rain, Lord, set down the rain, set down the light of rain. Oh, set down the rain, Lord, set down the rain, set down the light of rain. There's Holy Ghost in the rain, Lord, Holy Ghost in the rain, Holy Ghost in the light of rain. Oh, send down the rain, Lord, send down the rain, send down the latter rain. There's peace in the rain, Lord, peace in the rain, peace in the latter rain. Oh, send down the rain, Lord, send down the rain, send down the latter rain. There's love in the rain, Lord, love in the rain, love in the light of rain. There's love in the rain, Lord, love in the rain, so send down the light of rain. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Testimony, Rafe. Robbie, I'd like to say Amen. Lord. Privileged it is. Amen. Been giddy all day. Amen. Christmas. <laughs> uh, and I didn't take off from COVID, but I found all kinds of things to thank him for. That's me. right. Yeah. I thank him for the word. I thank him for the isolation because it broke yeah. us again. He was Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, I thank the church for the anointed prayers that went up for us. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. His healing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Yeah. And I just thank God for this little church. Like I said, we don't know how you miss it till you came back. That's right. Amen. 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 We just feel an honor and a privilege to be back tonight. Amen. Honor and yeah. a privilege to have you. Amen. We're all, like I said, maybe Sunday morning, Sunday night, I don't remember, but we're all part of a body. Amen. We all are important. Amen. Whether it don't matter whether you, the pastor or, the, or a deacon or Sunday school teacher, everybody's got a job and everybody's got a uh, just, I mean, Lord's put us, Bible said, He baptized us all into the same body with the same spirit. Amen. And we all we all been put in this body and we're all members and, and uh, that's about, ain't but, and, it, and it ain't but one church, is there? Amen. Just uh, just His body. That's the only church. But amen. We're so glad to have you back too. And it's, uh, amen. I'm going to tell you why it's so important to obey the Lord though. Amen. Uh, I had no idea Sunday night that uh, there was a woman here that had a, had a daughter. It came to my attention later. Nicole told me that I had a daughter that is a lesbian. And when we got done praying up here Sunday night, I just felt led to ask Nicole to sing and testify. Amen. And, and ain't that something how the Lord works? Yeah. Amen. I, I mean, it's, it's so important to obey the Lord. Amen. And if, if, I mean, just some little simple thing you think I don't do, it don't matter if I do that or not. When God puts something on your heart, amen, and we need to do it. Amen. It don't matter how small it might seem. Uh, God, uh, if The Bible said if you ain't faithful with the little things, ain't that what, G, uh, what the Lord yeah. said? Amen. Don't expect God to, amen, give you some big thing. No. Amen. If we ain't faithful with what He's given us, don't expect God to use us no more. Amen. All right. Uh, if you've got your Bibles tonight, uh, Isaiah chapter number 10, amen, verse number 24. We'll start reading Isaiah 10 and verse number 24. You pray for me tonight, and I'll try to give you what God has laid 
weight on my heart. I, uh, I'm so thankful that God has brought everybody through the, uh, that, that's, uh, that's back with us. And, and God, uh, it's, it's all Him, like Sister Dawn said. It's all Him. It, doctors can do so much, but, they, but it takes the Lord. It takes the Lord and, uh, to, to give healing. Do- doctors may have knowledge to maybe prescribe the right thing or use this and use that, but uh, that knowledge all come from God and, and it ain't going to work if God don't move in it. It ain't going to do no... If God says it ain't going to work, then it ain't going to work. Amen. And God can take, amen, something. Uh, I mean, this soul, there ain't, nothing, there ain't, nothing, ain't, no, ain't nothing medicinal about this soul, but just being obedient, God uses the, this uh, prayer of faith, amen, to touch people, amen. So it's all in Him. Isaiah chapter number 10 and verse number 24. The Bible said, Therefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, O my people that dwellest in Zion, be not afraid of the Assyrian. He shall smite thee with the rod and shall lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt. For yet a very little while and the indignation shall cease and mine anger in their destruction. And the Lord of hosts shall stir up a a scourge for him according to the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oreb. And as his rod was upon the sea, so so shall he lift it up after the manner of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. That's all I'm going to read. Uh, Father in heaven, God, as we come before you again, we uh, thank you, Lord, for another time, God, to uh, just uh, open your word, God, and to just try to uh, stand here, God, and open my mouth, and God, praying, uh, God, that as I always say, that you'd fill it, God, with, uh, Lord, just what you would have, uh, God, to be said. And God, I, I pray tonight, God, that you'd just, uh, uh, Lord, speak to every heart, and God, just uh, uh, let us uh, just uh, take your word, and uh, God, God, that we'd just ever be mindful, God, of how what you say to us, that God, we'd I just always, Lord, just have a will and heart, I God, to receive your instruction, Lord. And it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. I once again, God, praying for our sick, I praying for Brother Danny, God, that how you touch him right now, God, we ask. In the name that's above every name, in the name of Jesus Christ, and amen. Now, the Bible said that God, amen, told the children of Israel and then he said don't be afraid of the Assyrian for the yoke that I put on you and the yoke that amen I've allowed him to put on you he said one day will be destroyed amen because of the anointing and amen what I want to preach to you tonight brother by the help of the Lord amen is because of the anointing amen that's the message that God amen it laid on my heart because of the anointing now amen the Bible said that there was a man amen we talked before the service brother about being meek and the Bible said that Moses was meek above all the men brother of the earth and the Bible said that God spoke to Moses brother out there in the land of Midian amen in the burning bush and he said Moses, I go down and tell Pharaoh that I've told you to let my people go. Now why was it that Moses our brother had the strength had to go down and stand before the king of all Egypt. Well, we all know what Moses said. I mean he wasn't an eloquent speaker. I mean he wasn't somebody that had all the right words. But I'm going to tell you brother Earl how Moses was able to stand before Pharaoh it was because a brother of the anointing that God had placed a friend in his life that's the only way that Moses could stand before the mighty king a brother of the Egyptians it was because of the anointing well do you know why a man that some can stand and brother 
amen, men of God. I can label sin, amen, and preach it right down the line. I'm going to tell you why. It's because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I, brother, I can't do this in myself. I know that I can't preach. I know that I can't do anything without the help of God. I can't begin to stand up here tonight and try to break you the bread of life without the anointing of God. But you see, friend, Moses, before he went down to Egypt, I was just like any old man out there keeping faith men at the flock out there at brother keeping the sheep but one day I heard God I began to speak to him you see now when we think brother of anointing how we think of a preacher how we think of a man of God but I'm going to tell you what John said that we've all received brother the anointing that God has put down in us what is the anointing it's the Holy Ghost of God. Uh, brother, if we've been born again, uh, uh, we've got the anointing in our soul. Uh, uh, well, brother, I'm going to tell you how uh, uh, you can stand. Uh, amen. With everything, uh, amen, everything seems to be against you. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, uh, the first times, uh, amen, you know how it is. Uh, uh, there's times you can't uh, uh, get the words out of your mouth. Uh, uh, but there's other times uh, it feels like you could stand up and with the backbone like a railroad tie and brother just say what God has given you and do you know what that is and that's the anointing of God it's because of the anointing and the Bible said and that Moses amen went down there with all power and because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost but the Bible said years and years and years before Moses and man was ever down in Egypt and there was a man and by the name of Joseph and man you've heard me man we've all I mean we've heard the story about what Joseph what happened to him how that he was sold in bondage and the Bible said that one day and man that God began to speak had to Joseph by dreams how do you know what Joseph had on him he had the anointing of God my brother in his life. I want to tell you some child of God if you're ever going to be used of God and you've got to have the anointing. Amen. Amen. You can't do it in yourself. Amen. You say well preacher if we've been born again. Amen. Ain't we got the Holy Ghost. If you're saved you're living right. Yeah you've got the Holy Ghost. Amen. But are you being led by the Spirit. And the Bible said as many are led by the Spirit of God. Uh, they are the sons of God. Uh, the Bible said, uh, if you live after the flesh, uh, you shall die. Uh, but if you through the Spirit uh, do mortify uh, the deeds of the body, uh, the Bible said we live. I uh, say, so Amen. Are we being led uh, by the Spirit of God? Uh, are we being led uh, by that anointing? Uh, you see, when Moses uh, went across the Red Sea, and before he ever got there and the Bible said that God I led him by a pillar of fire I brother through the darkness and by a cloud by day and you see that it's being led by God if you want the anointing and you've got to be led by God if you want the power of God in your life and you've got to obey the Lord if you want the power of God and brother you know why amen some testify and the spirit of God is all over them. I'm going to tell you why. It's because of the anointing. It's because of the anointing. Now you know how it is. I've heard some sing. And brother, oh, they sound real good. But they ain't got no power. What are they missing? What are they missing? But there's some that get up. That maybe can't sing. I've heard some sometimes. Brother, they ain't got a good sounding voice. They can't carry a tune. Uh, but oh I've heard some uh, I mean, what the world will call the worst uh, at different churches I've been to uh, uh, but oh because of the anointing uh, uh, when they got up behind the sacred desk uh, and brother began to sing uh, uh, there was something from another world uh, uh, that began to move in 
inside of those souls. And brother, I'd rather hear that and than all the amen good voices and that the world has. I'd rather hear somebody sing about something they know and than all that junk in the world. And do you know why? And because it's anointed. It's anointed. We need the anointing of God. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. Well, amen, getting a good meeting. Amen, you know why we feel the power of God tonight? Amen, it's because of the Holy Ghost. Amen, it's because of the anointing of God. And do you know why we had such a good time at that Sunday night? And because of the anointing. Amen, do you know why some miss out on it? And they don't do what God told them to do. But Jesus said, happy. Amen, are you if you do these things? Brother, I want the anointing in my life. I can remember as a young, amen, Christian, as a young preacher, amen, amen, still I've only been preaching. I'm in seven years but I remember amen even younger I've been preaching maybe a year less than a year I've seen some that had it I've seen some that didn't how do you know what the difference was it's the anointing power of God how do you know what some men how they can quote the Bible from cover to cover how but you don't feel no power how but there's other men how they don't even know how to read how but they can get up behind the pulpit and begin to preach with power. It's because of the anointing. It's because of the anointing. It's because of the anointing. I thank God I can feel it tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, that's why. It's because they're not Eugene. Amen. Amen, you know why God Amen would put it on you to sing. Amen, it's because of the anointing. How do you know why God blesses you when you testify? It's that's what is that? How that I feel down in my soul. It's the anointing. It's the anointing. How do you know why we want to come to church? How we've got an anointing that tells us to be here. How we've got an anointing, a brother that makes us want had to be down at the house of God. I'm going to tell you why I'm here tonight. It's because of the anointing. Amen. I'll be honest with you. Amen. If I preach and never failed it, it'd be hard for me to preach. Amen. I couldn't preach. Amen. But amen, that ain't what I mean. I mean, it'd be hard for me to even get up here. It'd be hard for me to want to. Amen. It'd be hard for me to want to come. Amen. If I didn't ever feel it, Amen. I'd sit there in my seat. Amen. I'd hope that God would send somebody else here every day. Amen. Every time. And I won't jump in front of nobody. Don't take me wrong. But brother, I'm going to get what God's given me. Amen. When God's laid it on my heart, brother, I'm going to preach it. I ain't one of these that thinks just because they come through the door, they got to preach. And brother, if God's laid it on my heart, brother, I'm the pastor here. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to be the one doing it. And if God puts it on them, and then they'll be the ones doing it. And because without the anointing, ain't going to be no preaching. And without the anointing, ain't going to be no preaching. And brother, I'm going to tell you why. And people move up to God. Amen. Oh, I could preach you something. But if it's in myself, it wouldn't do you no good. But when the man of God under the anointing begins to preach the word, people lay things down, how people move up how because of that anointing. Amen. Bless his holy name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Joseph. Amen. God had his, amen, his, his hand on him from the time that he was a young man. And the Bible said that he began to dream. Amen. And her, amen, his daddy was. Amen. First he told his brethren. He said, oh, they said, oh, Joseph, how we ain't going to bow down. You think we're going to bow down to you. How you're just like we are. And the Bible said that even Joseph, Amen. Even Jacob said, Joseph, how do you think me and your mommy is going to 
going to bow down to you. Amen. But oh, the Bible said that Jacob that knew, amen, that it was from God. Amen. He knew that it was from God. How what, brother, here we stand. Amen. Amen. Now you can, amen, some people can fool you. Amen. They can. They can fool you for a little while. But brother, you sit under somebody long enough. You'll know if they got the anointing or not. Amen. I'm going to tell you how you know. They'll live what they preach. They'll live what they preach. Amen. Oh, you can preach it all day long. But if you don't live it, amen, you ain't got no place of preaching it. Amen. If you don't live it, hey, you ain't got no place of pastoring. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I'm going to tell you. Amen. I won't preach nothing I won't do. I won't preach nothing. I bet God don't hold me accountable for. But oh, you know why I'd stand up here and service after service and break the bread of life. And there's an anointing down in my soul. That makes me want to do it. It makes me want to do it, Earl. Amen. You know why I can stand up here and tell you with amen, with all honesty, that ain't nothing else I'd rather do than be in the house of God. Because amen, I know what the anointing feels like. Amen. It ain't just the preacher that gets anointed. Amen. Them old saints of God. Amen. Shout the praises of God. And do you know why they shouted the praises of God? And because of the anointing. Amen. And do you know why you lift your hands? And because amen, of the anointing. Amen. Hallelujah. How when God tells you to testify and you feel that will within a will, I begin to stir down in your soul. And that's the anointing of God. And that's the anointing of God. That's the anointing of God. And Joseph had it on him. But the Bible said that Judah, amen, Judah said, boys, you see that made up in the mind that they're going to kill old Joseph. That they're going to kill him. And daddy wouldn't know what happened to him. And daddy would think that he just died. And the Bible said that Judah, well, first it was old Reuben. Reuben said, boys, don't do it. Don't kill him. I don't lay no hand on him. But Reuben left the scene. And there they was. They made up their mind to kill him. But amen, old Judah said, Boys, why would we kill him? When them Ishmaelites are coming down here, and we can just dig a pit and put him in there. And when they get down here, we'll sell him. And we'll sell him into the Ishmaelites. And the Bible said that's what they did. And Reuben come back. And Brother Joseph was done gone. And the Bible said they killed. Amen. Got some blood and put it on his coat and took it back down to Jacob. And Jacob said, Oh, surely something has befallen my boy. I will y'all know what happened now. And Joseph went down to Egypt. And the Bible said that Potiphar I put him way up here. And God's hand was on Joseph. And God's hand was on Joseph. I'm gonna tell you why. And that God has brought you through. And what he's brought you through. It's because I'm the Holy Ghost of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All is vain. That old song says, unless the Spirit of the Lord comes down. Amen. If we want no anointing here tonight, amen, we all ought to just stay at the house. Amen. If there wasn't no power here tonight, we'd been better off to stay at the house. Amen. But because of the anointing, this building is more than a building. Amen. Hallelujah. And now when we all leave here, that's all that it is. But when the saints of God get in the house of God, because of that anointing, brother, something happens down here. You can't get this at the ball game. You can't get this at the race. You can't get this in the beer joint. How are you going to get it? How, why How can you get it here? Because of the anointing. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can't get it nowhere else. You can't get it nowhere. You can't get it nowhere. I know you that's out. You missed it. And you know why you missed it? Because of the anointing. Amen. Well, I feel good in the Lord. I know why I do too. Amen. Praise the Lord. This ain't something. Amen. This ain't something you can buy with a $5 bill. 
It's ain't something you can find down there at the store. And then, but oh, it was bought on Calvary. And then the Bible said to Jesus, he said, I'm gonna go away. How about glory to his name? He said, I'll not leave you comfortless. How about when I go away, I'll send one in my name. And the Father and I will live in you. And then and we'll abide, we'll abide in you. I will lead you. And guide you in all truth. Hallelujah. You know what that is? That's that Holy Ghost. That's the anointing of God. That's what leads you. That's what directs you, pal. That's what directs you in the ways of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know which way to go because the anointing. Amen. I know which way to go. Amen. I know. Hey man, when somebody opens up one of them false books and something just ain't right because that anointing. Amen. Oh, those power in this King James Bible. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ain't no power in that other junk. Amen. Ain't no power. Amen. Praise the Lord. We. Amen. You know what? Amen. You want to know why you say, well, hey, you know there ain't no power in it. How you read that word, amen. How you find, amen, and every one of them I've looked at. Amen. 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 Every one of them I've ever seen. How when Abraham went up on the mountain, amen, he said, amen, that God I will provide for himself a lamb. How but that ain't what this blessed book says. How this book right here says God shall provide himself. Amen. A lamb. You say it means the same thing. Amen. Oh no, it was a prophecy. Amen. Of what God was going to do on Calvary. Amen. Hallelujah. Have the same ram caught in a thicket. How you see, God didn't even provide a lamb for Abraham. It was a ram. How but he did provide himself a lamb on Calvary's hill 2,000 years ago. And because of that, we can have this anointing. Amen. 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 Glory to his name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Joseph. Amen. When Potiphar's wife said, lay with me, Joseph. Lay with me, Joseph. Amen. Day after day after day after day. How do you know why he was able to say no? He had an anointing down in him. He had an anointing down in him. How'd you say the Holy Ghost hadn't come yet? How you better read your Bible. Amen. I know, amen. I know now. It hadn't fell on the day of Pentecost yet. But the Bible said that God had put his spirit in Moses. Amen. It's all amen. Abraham believed God. It was counting to him for righteousness. It's always been the same way. How without the anointing of God, we'd all perish. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I know prophecy was fulfilled on Pentecost and the Holy Ghost come down like it never had before. Amen. But oh God, He led them by the same anointing He does us. Amen. Amen. God's the same yesterday, ain't He? Today and forevermore. Amen. He is. Amen. So here, amen. We see about Joseph. Amen. amen. You know, we all know how what Potiphar's wife did. How she, did, amen, accused him of amen, amen, coming in on her and trying to force himself. And the Bible said that he went on and got down there in the prison. How do you know why? That he didn't give up everything that he had. I didn't reject all the teachings of God. That because he had an anointing. And the Bible said that one day, had the baker and the butler had come down to the prison and they both had dreams how do you know why Joseph could interpret dreams he wasn't doing it in himself and the Bible said in Daniel's day and that old Nebuchadnezzar I said boys I need me a man I to interpret my dream I get all the soothsayers I get all the wise men I get all the astrologers I get all the magicians and then he said get them all together and that none of them could do what Nebuchadnezzar wanted them to do Oh, well, what did he want done? And it had been easy for Nebuchadnezzar had to say, here's my dream. And they'd make up some false interpretation. But he said, I want a man had to tell me what I dreamed and to tell me what it meant. I've been a wise man in the hall of Babylon How they can do such a thing. As some of them said, but down there there was a man by the name of Daniel that had an anointing down in his soul. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. I said something about it Sunday. And I don't believe I finished. Amen. But I was up there at work. Amen. It's Saturday. And I was reading the horoscope. Amen. 
heard one of them say, I'm a Gemini. Let's look at mine. I said, Robert, what the word are you? I said, I'm Christian. That's exactly what I said. I said, I'm Christian. She said, oh, you know what I meant. I said, I don't believe in that junk. I don't believe in that stuff. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't know what my future is for amen right now. I don't know what it is tomorrow. I don't know what it is from a month from now. But I know because of what God told me. I know what my end is. I know what my end is. It's eternity with Jesus forevermore. Amen. No, I don't know it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, Earl, because Amen. you know it. Amen. Hey, man, you know why I've laid I've laid some things down in my life since I got saved because the anointing that I heard men of God preach with. Yeah. Amen. Hey, Amen. I knew they had something in their life. I knew that, amen, I, amen, they had something. Yeah. And I looked at it and thought, boy, I want that. Amen. There was a time when the young ladies, their role models was them shouting, them shouting saints of God. Amen. But now their role models are Hollywood. Amen. Amen. But there was a time the young ladies, I wanted to grow up and be that brother, amen, like the, amen, like the women in the house of God. They learned the songs that the women in the house of God sung. The young men, they they patterned herself after the men in the house of God. Have they seen an anointing? Have they seen an anointing? Do you know why they don't see it now? Most of your churches ain't got it. Most of your churches got a man that'll preach them whatever they want. But if we don't have some anointing, it's all a tinkling cymbal and sounding brass. Amen. That's what Paul said. Amen. I, amen. I, amen. I, I don't claim to be an eloquent speaker. Amen. But every time I get up here and I say, I pray God give me sense enough. Amen. Amen. If I didn't have it to sit down. Amen. Praise the Lord. I can't do it without the anointing. Uh, Sister Nicole, I can't do it without the anointing. Uh, I can't do it, Eugene, without the power of God. Uh, I've got to have it. I wait, man. Uh, I want more of God in my life. Uh, I want more of the power of God. Uh, uh, man, I've learned one thing. Uh, hey, man, I'm not content with what of God. Uh, I want to move up to God. Uh, I want more of the Lord. Uh, I want more of God. Uh, I've tasted the anointing. Uh, I've tasted what it is. And I want more of it. Uh, amen. Uh, well, glory to His name. Amen. Old Joseph had it, didn't he? Amen. And because, you know why Joseph wasn't killed? You know why God put Reuben there and Judah there to say, boys, don't kill him? Because God had an anointing on him. Amen. You know why COVID didn't kill some of you? Amen. Praise the Lord. And some's died with it. And they, amen. And they was good people. Amen. I ain't saying good. I mean, love the Lord. Amen. Don't take me wrong and twist what I'm saying. But God brought you through it. Amen. Because, amen, He's got an anointing. He's got something for you to do. Amen. He's got something left for you here. Amen. Oh, we ain't seen it yet. And the Bible said, I've not seen. I neither hear heard. I neither has it entered into the hearts of men. What God hath prepared for them that love Him. I but oh, he didn't stop right there. God had revealed them to us by his spirit. You know what tells us, amen, that heaven is real, that heaven's worth going to. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. Because of the anointing, I know I don't want anything else. Amen. I wouldn't take anything in the world for what I got here. Amen. What I felt here tonight. Amen. It's far better than anything the world's got. Amen. 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 I don't know what it's like. I don't know what in the world LSD does to you. I don't know. I've never. Amen. I don't know what in the world that does to you. Amen. I don't know. And I pray, amen, I've got my, I've got my sins that's behind me. God forgive me for them. But I do say this, I, I, don't, I don't know what it's like to be high from smoking a joint. I don't know, I have no idea what that's like. Amen. I know, what, I know what it's like to be drunk. Amen, but there was always something in me. You know what I've seen? I had enough anointing. 
I had enough anointing seen in my life. I'd seen the anointing on other men and on other saints of God. Amen. I knew. Amen. I see. Amen. I seen what all them others did. Had that turn to drugs. Amen. Amen. I thought, well, I don't want to do something, amen, that'll change my life. I don't want to do something hard that'll change my life. Amen. Oh, the kids right now, how they say a little marijuana won't hurt you. Amen. That's why it's legal in our state. Amen. Oh, amen. I mean, we're going to hell. You know that. Our worlds are going to hell. Our nations are going to hell. But I'm glad God's got a remnant that I know from me in my house. I'm not going to hell. I'm not going to hell. Because one day I heard the word of God. I preached in the morning. Amen. 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 Say it won't hurt you. Amen. That's why every every one of them I knew. Amen. They they didn't stop at that. They went to something else. They went to something else. Amen. But amen. My sin wasn't no better than nobody else. Amen. I, I, I mean, I say I didn't say that to say that. Amen. To mean that. Amen. But I'm glad that I had enough. I'd seen enough anointing in my life. I told her some things I was afraid of. Yeah. I knew there was a hell. Yeah. Amen. Some of the people I went to high school with, they thought they was right. Amen. Living, amen. Living the same way I was, but I'd heard enough anointed preaching. I'd heard enough anointed preaching. I'd heard enough anointed preaching. That's all. That's all. That's the only reason I knew. I'd heard the anointing. I'd, amen. I'd, I'd seen it on men of God. Amen. Oh, it ain't everybody carries a Bible that's got it. Amen. But hallelujah. I'm glad God's got some men. That's got some anointing. Amen. Amen. Just like old Joseph did. And old Peter did. And old John did. You know why they didn't quit? Because of the anointing. Amen. You know why? That when things have come your way and you didn't lay, you didn't quit. It's because of the anointing. Amen. You know what draws you here to the house of God? It's that anointing. It's that anointing that you get down in your soul. It ain't just the preacher that's got it. The Bible said the anointing that he hath given you abideth in you. That's what John said. And he said, you don't have no need that man teach you. Amen. I ain't teaching you some new thing. I'm just preaching you what's already been said. I'm just preaching you the book. Amen. If in the Bible said, if any man come to you, I'm preaching any other gospel, I've been that with which you have heard. Paul said, if, I, if it be an angel, if it be even myself, he said, let that man be a curse. He said, you hold on to what you got. You hold on to that anointing. Brother, I want to tell you right now, the only thing that's going to do you good it's getting in the house of God under the anointed power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The world's got their, they got their feel good. They got their drugs. Amen. They got, the, they got their alcohol. Amen. They got all that. Amen. Amen. You say, look, look what they got, preacher. Look what we got. I'm going to tell you what they ain't got. They ain't got the anointing. Amen. I'm going to tell you what they ain't got, Eugene. They ain't got the anointing. Amen. They ain't got the anointing. There's something we got down here at the house of God. Amen. There's something, amen, that the generation below us needs to see at the house of God. Brother, we need to see the anointing. We need to feel the anointing. You say it's more than feeling. I know it is. But oh, there's something down in my soul. That's a will within a will. That stirs me. And the Bible said, I stir up the gift. That's on the inside of you. How that was put in there by the laying on of hands. Amen. Well, glory to his name. Amen. I tell everybody it's in a dead church. Get out of it, won't you? Amen. Amen. I ain't never. Amen. I'd never try to proselyte nobody. Pull nobody away from a church. But if they're in a dead and they need to get out of it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If they're dead and they need to get out of it. Amen. 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 You know why? Because there ain't no anointing there. Amen. There ain't no anointing there. Because of the anointing. That's why some's come prayed. I could get up here and say the same thing I say week in and week out. But if there wasn't no anointing, nobody'd move. Amen. 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 If there wasn't no anointing, some people might move. I may be back up. Some people might move, but they wouldn't get no help. Amen. They wouldn't get to sin. Amen. The Bible said, I heard somebody talking the other day. They said, yeah. Amen. Now, amen. They said, yeah. They, that, amen. They, they believe the right way. Talking about her mama. 
She said, oh, but that, amen, that preaching, you know, the way they was, they didn't do it the right way. I was just sitting there listening. I said, you know, the Bible said if any man sin, I rebuke him before all. And now them that's out there that's ignorant, and them that's out there that don't know no better, amen, you're, you're exactly right, we're gonna love them. Amen, but them that's been in the house of God, that's claiming to be right with God, they need some anointed men of God that'll stand up and point a finger right in their face and say, if you don't quit flirting with the devil and quit riding the fence, and you're gonna die and go to hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know why men could you used to do that? Amen. I we me and somebody was talking the other day. They said everybody used to. Amen. They said all them old men of God. Amen. They just labeled it and, cl- and, and proclaimed it the way it was. You know why? I'll tell you exactly why. Because of that anointing. Amen. Y'all have heard me tell it. Amen. I don't like con- I don't I don't like confrontation. Amen, but there's, there's, there's something in me, amen, that when I get up behind the pulpit, it just makes me want to be a little bit more bolder than I, amen, than I am out there. You know what that is? It's the anointing. And there's been times out there in the world that have just opened my mouth and felt like, amen, I, amen, it's all been because of God. I failed him, amen, plenty of times. But there's been a few times that I've opened my mouth and I felt like I've said exactly what God would want me to say. And do you know why I did that? It was all because of the anointing of power of God. Amen. Amen. The anointing's in you tonight, child of God. I'm going to tell you why you want to witness. It's because of the anointing. I'm going to tell you why you want to read your Bible. It's because of the anointing. I'm going to tell you why you want to move up to God. It's because of the anointing. Amen. When you get it, you want more of it. And when you feel God, you want more of Him. Amen. Yeah, the Bible said, try the spirits. Yeah, the devil will fool you. But when you get the real thing, you want more of the real thing. Amen. Not just anything will do. I want the real thing. I want the real thing. I want the anointing in my life. Amen. I want to stand. Amen. And when you've done everything the Bible said, just put on the whole armor of God. And I'm closing. Yeah. And when you've done everything you know to do to stand, just stand. You know how you stand? You know how you're able to do it? It's because of the anointing, that Nancy. Yeah. It's because of the anointing. Amen. Old Peter and John, they said, don't preach no more, boys. They said, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We know you've been out there, you've been a preaching. This man named Jesus. But boys, if you'll just leave here and never say his name again. If you'll just leave here and never say his name again. Hey Amen. We're going to let you go. We ain't going to do nothing to you. But they didn't do nothing to him no way. You know why they couldn't? There was anointing on them two men. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. We'll throw you in jail. Hey Amen. Oh yeah, they might pass this law and that law. I'm going to tell you what Jesus said. He said, Peter, upon this rock, I'll build my church at the gates of hell. I shall not prevail against it. How do you know why no weapon formed against us will prosper? Because of the anointing. Amen. If God be for us, who then can be against us? Amen. Amen. Well, boys, go ahead and get out of here. Amen. Maybe I can just see him walking out. But wait a minute. Don't mention that name no more. <laughs> Amen. Oh, Peter. Amen. Oh, Peter. Because the anointing. Peter looked right at him and said, whether it's right to obey man or God, you tell us. But I'm going to obey the Lord. I'm going to obey the Lord. Amen. Peter doesn't know that he had an anointing that told him to go out and preach. Amen. Peter denied the Lord three times. But when the anointing came down, Peter said, oh, these men ain't drunk. I seen it's but the third hour of the day. It's just nine in the morning. They ain't drunk with new wine. But this is what Joe I said would come to pass. Amen. Oh, God shall pour how the spirit in the last days amen you can have it right now how you can have the anointing here in your life amen you want people to see God in you it's all, it's all going to be because the anointing amen amen them old saints of God the world knew where they stood I'm going to ask you and the thumb pointing back at me every one of us they know where we stand they know where we stand at Amen. Do they know where we stand? Amen. The only way we're going to be able to stand. You can't do it in yourself. I'm going to tell you where you'll be if you try to do it in yourself. You'll be on your face. But because of the anointing, we can be like old Peter. 
We can be like old John. We can be like old Joseph. Amen. Amen. Abraham looked for a city whose builder and maker was God. You know how he knew it was out there? He received an anointing one day. Amen. It was unlike anything he'd ever felt. Come out of the land of the Chaldees. Amen. Down there in the... Amen. Come out there and amen. Never knew nothing about God. Amen. God spoke to him one day. Amen. God called him. Amen. Amen. Told him. He said, I'm the God that brought Noah through the flood. I'm the God that did all these things. How do you know why Noah built the ark? It's because the anointing. How do you know why? Amen. That all them patriarchs died. I'm looking for the promise. It was because of the anointing. And they knew there was something better. And the Bible said they died having not received the promise. Promise. But amen, they saw it afar off. We're looking for it. We're looking for it. I know it's a coming. I know the anointing is going to take us home. Yeah. Amen. The same spirit I got right now. Amen. It's going to raise all them dead bodies out of the grave one day. Amen. You know why some of you that used to cuss don't cuss no more? Because the anointing. Amen. You know why there's. Amen. Amen. Why? The whoremonger ain't a whoremonger no more. And the whore ain't a whore no more. Because of the anointing. You know why the lesbian ain't a lesbian no more? Because of the anointing. Hey man, when, when the lost, when the people that's got saved here in this church and other churches, when they come in, they felt the anointing. That's amen. I mean, see, it can be preached all day. But if there ain't no anointing in it, and there ain't no salt in it, and the Bible said you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, I were with, and shall it be salted? I, brother, it's just words. If there ain't no power. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Some of them come. I've seen some come because others did. There wasn't, there wasn't no anointing on them to come. You say, does the anointing get on a lost person when the Holy Ghost is dealing with them? Amen. That's that same Holy Ghost dealing with them is the same anointing we got. Amen. And amen. And it draws them and they come and they get born again. And if they get it and they live right, it'll all be because of that same spirit. It'll be because of the anointing. Amen. I'm going to tell you why you're here tonight. Why, you, why there's been a change in your life. And why, if anybody can see God in you, I'm going to tell you why. It's because of the anointing. But the Holy Ghost don't speak of Himself. The Bible said He shall not speak of Himself. Amen. A lot of people give the Holy Ghost a whole lot of glory. But He didn't come looking for glory. He, speak, he spoke, spoke of the one that done come. He spoke of the one that hung on Calvary. He spoke of the one that a man stretched his hands out. And the nails I were drove in his hands. And the nails I were drove in his feet. And the crown of thorns on his head. That's who the anointing speaks of. That's who we worship here. That's who we lift up. And he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men to me. Amen. Signifying his death. As a serpent was lifted up in the wilderness. Amen. There's all I'm closing. There's all getting eaten by the fiery serpents. He's all getting bit. Some, amen. Some of them are dying. God said, I'll tell you what to do, Moses. Make you take you a brazen serpent. Hold it up and everybody looks on it. They'll live. And Jesus said, as a serpent was lifted up in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. Amen. You know what, you know what happened on a hill outside of Jerusalem about 2,000 years ago? Amen. The Son of Man got lifted up. And he stretched his hands out on the cross. And he gave every bit of his blood for you. Every bit of his blood for me. And that we might have some will go away. But I ain't going to leave you comfortless. He said, Amen. There's one. We got one right now. If you ain't got no comforter, I mean, it's because you ain't got the anointing. I'm glad tonight. We've got something. And that Amen comforts us. And that helps us and through this world. Amen. It's all because of the anointing. It's a, amen. Anything that God's given you, anything that's good, anything that's happened in your life. Amen. Every good and perfect gift coming from above. It's all comes from God. You sit here tonight. If you felt the, if you felt the Spirit of God tonight, it's because God let you. It's because of that anointing. Amen. The only way we can worship God is through the anointing. Because of the anointing. Amen. The boldness that God gives you is because of the anointing. When a man of God gets up and preaches it, and preaches it, amen, by the Bible. Amen. With that power, it's that anointing that does it. When people get up and sing and you just feel heaven come down, it's because of the anointing. Some people can just testify. And you just feel that. You say, preacher, I wish I could have that. Amen. Amen. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. 
Amen. The Bible said desire spiritual gifts. Amen. Some people's desire in the things of the world. Amen. But if you want the anointing, if you want more God in your life, I say pray. I say seek the Lord. I say amen. Amen. Just say amen. Draw nigh to God. He'll draw nigh to you. And if you ever get blessed, if you ever have the power, it'll be because of the anointing. Amen. Anybody want to pray tonight? Amen. If you feel the need to pray, it's because of that anointing. It's because of that anointing. Amen. Some can just testify and you can just feel it all over them, can't you? Amen. That's the anointing. That's the anointing. Amen. Them that ain't sincere, they ain't got it. But if you're sincere, that's what worshiping and truth is. You gotta, I mean, you got to be real. You can't put on a front. God knows who you are. God knows what you are. And when you start worshiping in truth, you can worship with the anointing. You can worship in spirit. Amen. I don't know if there's a need in this house tonight. I don't know if anybody needs to pray. But if you want more, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know, what I, I know I'm going to. I want more of the anointing. Amen. I want more of God in my life. And if you want to pray tonight, I'd come and pray. Amen. If you want, amen. If you want more, you say, preacher, amen. What's people going to think? Amen. We're going to think, amen. I know what I'm going to think. I'm going to think you want more of the power. I'm going to think you want more anointing. I want more in my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. I can say it just, uh, amen, to make a, amen. I, want, I don't want you to come because I said it. I want you to come because of the anointing. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want more of him, don't you? I want more of him. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I love you tonight, God. Lord, I know tonight, God, the only reason I can get down here and pray is because of that anointing. And God, I, I pray, Lord, tonight that you help us all stand. God, just be more like Christ. And God, just stand. Lord, be what we need to be to you. And God, I love you so much. And God, I, I pray, Lord, for more power in my life. God, Lord, there's one thing I desire. God, I, I just want God to set it on. Lord, I do. God, in my life. And Lord, I know these others is coming. That's what they want. Lord, I, want you to, I just want you to use our church. Everybody, Lord, that's in this building, I want you to use them, God. Lord, just give them that much they desire. Lord God, I know we want that anointing. I want it God my life and my witness and my preaching. Oh Lord, I want to be like a life and desire a double portion, God. What you get them old men of God, them old, them old saints of God. I knew what they shouting about, knew what they singing about. Oh Lord God, we need that power. We're here in our lives tonight. Oh God, I love you. I thank you, God, for what you've done. Give our people, God. Lord, I know the same anointing, God. There's all them old men. Uh, God, them that Peter and John and Paul. Lord, they can reach right now and touch our city. Lord, we pray for a sick tonight, God. Pray for you to touch them. Oh, God, we love you, Lord. Thank you for what you've done. Lord, bless your people that's come to pray. Bless your people, God, that's come tonight. Lord, just give us, God, give us what we need. Open up the windows of heaven. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, bless each soul. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I won't take, I, I done said it, but I won't take nothing the world's got for what I felt tonight. Praise the Lord for nobody else got blessed. I know I did. I know I did. Amen. You know what I found out? I learned this real young as a Christian. I mean, just, I hadn't been a Christian no time. I learned this. Amen. When people's got the anointing of God in their life, the people that ain't got it, they'll begin to pick at them and say, you know, well, they're just doing that for a show. And they're just, amen. I, there's a woman, and most of y'all in here would know if I mentioned her name. And I, I used to go to the church she'd go to, and I'd preach once a month or so. And, and I would see her get blessed. And I'd see her uh, just testify. And I mean, testified all the time. And, and some of them women on the other side, they'd look over there and they'd roll their eyes thinking, well, nobody see them. Amen. But the preacher up there behind them, I'd see them. And I, and I thought, and I know what they're thinking. The devil's telling them, she says it all the time. She says it all the time. She praises the Lord all the time. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. If I, amen. Maybe if I get enough of it. Amen. She wouldn't have to do it all the time. 
Amen. Not everybody's a shouter. Not everybody. Not everybody's as vocal as everybody else. But amen. Amen. We've all got an anointing in us. We've all got the Holy Ghost. Amen. If we've been born again. Amen. And we're living right. We're, amen. We're living for God. There's an anointing down in us. Amen. So I said that to say this. If you think, Amen. If you think people's gonna think bad of you for obeying the Lord. I'm going I'm to be honest with you. Some of them's going to. I hope nobody in this church would. I don't, amen. I, I hope nobody would. There's going to be somewhere, somebody somewhere that's going to think bad of you for worshiping God. They're going to. Yeah, amen. They are. they are. A few years ago, somebody told me I was, amen. They, they said, you just are preaching too much. You're going to wire yourself out. Amen. You, you, amen. You better take it easy. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want more of it. Amen. I want more of it. Amen. And I found if you desire spiritual gifts, that God will begin to pour them out on you. You just got desire it, don't you? You just got desire it. Don't let the world beat you out of nothing. Don't let the world tell you, amen, if God tells you, I bet, amen, and amen, there's been, amen, and I felt, I felt plum silly doing it. And I ain't bragging on myself. I mean, I, there's only been a few times I've done it. Don't take me wrong. I felt, I felt plum silly doing it. But I did it anyway because I knew God told me to do it. I've been walking just out in public. Amen. And, and, and felt the Lord say, get down and pray. If you want me to move and what you're praying for, get down and pray. I've had to get down right there. There's been times he told me to and I didn't. Amen. But I've, amen, but I've, I've got, but there's been a few times I've got down and I prayed right there. I bet everybody around prayed, oh, no, my, go- my goodness. Amen. My goodness. What in the world? I was at work at one day in Appalachia and I went back there where the coffee's at. And amen. I thought, <laughs> amen. Y'all was trying to do something. And I thought, I'll go back here and get me some coffee. And ain't nobody going to be around here. And then I'll pray. When I got up, the owner was sitting there looking at me like I had three heads. <laughs> amen. <laughs> and God, amen. Praise the Lord. God had a reason for putting that on my heart. He had a reason for putting that on my heart. The world's going to think you're just a little bit strange. Yeah, they amen. They're going to think you did. Now, he's a good man. He's a Christian. But amen, he just didn't. I mean, you don't see it every day. <laughs> amen. But, and, but I'm, I said that to say this. Just obey the Lord. Just obey the Lord. Amen. Amen. Don't let the world take that. Any, what God's give you, don't let God take it. Don't let the, don't let the world take it away from you. Amen. Just keep obeying the Lord. Keep praying. Keep, keep trusting in God. Don't let the world take your testimony. Don't let the world take your amen. Yeah, whatever it is, your song, your hands raised. Don't let, don't let the world do it. Don't let the world do it. Amen. Because the world's going to see the anointing in you. They may laugh. They may poke fun. But they're going to see the anointing. Amen. They said Peter and John was ignorant and unlearned, wasn't they? But the Bible said they took note that they'd been with Jesus. They'd been with Jesus. All right, I love you tonight. Keep on praying for a sick. Amen. We'll pray for. Let's keep praying for Danny and all the others too. Amen. I mean, just I mean, all our sick needs prayers. Amen. John and 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 and, and Robert and Lisa and Sandy and all of them. They need. Amen. Need need, need our prayers. Amen. And, and we just and I know when Hope went to the dentist today. Let's pray for her. Amen. Let's really pray that God would touch Danny. I I just. Amen. There's been times I prayed and and I've. Thought in my mind that it don't look too good. It looks bleak. But I just feel like in my soul that God's gonna do something. I do. I believe God's gonna bring him out of it. And you know what? You know what the world's gonna have to say? Look at the anointing. Look at what God did. Look at the anointing that God had to bring him out of that. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's only God. I was talking to somebody today. They said, How's Danny doing? He, they said, He comes up to our church, don't he? I said, Yeah, he ain't doing too good. He, I, and, and I began to tell them, They said, He's a good. They said, I like him. I always liked him and been good to me. And, and I thought, God's going to bring him out of this. I told him, I said, God, God's the only one that can do it. God's the only one that can do it. And I, Amen. This person don't go to church. I thought, How good it'd be. Amen. How good it'd be. Yeah. Amen. Oh my God. God they, they ain't nothing too hard for God. <laughs> ain't nothing too hard for God. Yeah. So I wish you'd sit down and shut up. Amen. You know why I, I don't want to? Because I've got something yeah. down in my soul. Oh, I've got yeah. something down in my soul. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, Amen. I love God. Thank God for His anointing. Yeah. Amen. Let's go and pray and come and pray. Amen. Let's stand tonight. Let's dismiss in prayer again. Amen. Let's, let's pray. Clifton, you lead us in prayer. We'll pray for for sick tonight and you dismiss the fear of the Lord. Brother, before we do that, if you like if you would, I'd like to leave my mind. I'd like to pray for that.